What's up? This is Squad 2448. We're following Senator 17 Tree Services video. Today, we'll be cleaning up fallen trees from a blizzard last night. We'll be hopping in our brand new 2017 Chevy High Country and we'll be making our way over to the shop. We will be using the brand new Dodge Flatbed today in the bucket truck and we'll be making our way over to the trailer park where we do have our Bobcat T770 skid loader and we'll be starting to clean up all of the fallen trees that fell. We do have a few that fell through a few trailer buildings and also all over the parking lot and the public works department and the private plowing companies did a great job overnight salting, plowing, clearing all of the roads. So today it's going to be pretty nice right after the storm we are now going out to clean it up and we'll be putting all of our time towards the trailer park today getting that open because many people do need to go to work but as you guys can see we're using the new Chevy Duramax which I did switch out from our old high country this is a very nicely done truck and it works pretty well and it overall has great quality so we will be using the following mod to do a convoy with the uh, Dodge flatbed the dump trailer and the bucket truck over there we will be using the bucket truck to kind of lift ourselves up to clear some of it but as you guys can see we made it our way back over here to the shop and I think we'll be parking up right along the building here it does match with the building the truck which is pretty cool we'll kind of come over here get the bucket truck warmed up while we hop into the brand new Dodge which is on the inside this was released publicly a few days ago which is pretty cool and I do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos I just switched recording softwares and today is the first day using it but take a look at this guys it's a Ram 250 this is pretty cool I did add wood sides to it and this will overall work out very nice for putting wood in this and also the dump trailer we we'll definitely have to do like a three-point turn to kind of get out of our shop area we will be kind of closing the door to it to keep our heat in but we'll just completely back up to the dump trailer and sometimes we will run into a collision as you guys can see that's from the jack so we do just have to do a little bit of maneuvering and it should work pretty well and it looks like that is catching us but we will be able to kind of work around that if we go in at the right angle as you guys can see we are now attached to the dump trailer so we'll be coming over here lowering this down I do like to have it up just a little bit so that the water does not sit in the dump bed and rust it out since it is steel but as you guys can see this is one very cool older Dodge we did get it at a great price since it is pretty old and it is also in really good condition we'll come over here close down our shop to keep in our heat and we will now be hopping into the Chevy bucket truck which has been warming up for quite some time we'll come over here as you guys can see this is a very cool bucket truck we do not use this too often only on very big jobs like say so we'll just kind of pull out here right alongside and we'll d definitely come right behind this and this is a very large truck so we do want to activate the follow me mod and let's hope that it works as you guys can see it looks like the follow me mod is working very nice which is awesome I really do like it a lot it's very realistic and it's pretty cool just using it instead of having some of the equipment already at the job site but as you guys can see this is a very old Dodge which is pretty nice the bucket truck does follow our every move so we do have to drive pretty nice but wow take a look at that this dually should do a pretty good job with it full of wood also the dump trailer will be a full also but I would like to thank each and every one of you for supporting all of the daily videos you guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback and awesome video ideas and there's plenty more videos coming in 2018 as you guys can see this is a pretty cool mini convoy over there we do not use it too often but I thought it would be pretty cool to kind of feature the follow me mod and we will do we will be doing many more multiplayer videos here on the channel, so stay tuned for those. I'm very excited for them having three-person crews doing landscaping, snow plowing, and all of the different things. And hopefully we will be doing some fire rescue in multiplayer, which should be pretty exciting. But with the Follow Me mod, we do just have to drive pretty good, and we have to make sure that we do not go too far ahead, or it will deactivate. But we'll be taking this left right over here, and the trailer park is not too far down the road, which is nice. Well, overall, today is going to be a very busy day once we get over there. I think we'll kind of clean up the entrance, get that all cleaned up before we use a bucket truck to clean up some of the other areas. But I thought it would also be nice to use the Bobcat T770. Uh, it is the tracked Bobcat, which will work pretty well. But like we were saying earlier, the Public Works Department and the Plow Trucks did a very nice job 
clearing all of the roads and it looks to be pretty good salt and no ice really and it's going to be very helpful in cleaning it up. We are also using the brand new dump trailer which we did get last episode and I really do like doing these tree services videos. These are a lot of fun and you guys keep asking for all of these awesome ones. But as you guys can see we are arriving here at the trailer park and take a look at this guys. There's trees on top of that building, trees on the ground and trees over there so I mean this is packed with trees so I think we'll kind of come in park right like this. We'll kind of clean up this tree right next to us and this looks to be good right about here. Here. We'll kind of turn, no, we'll probably keep that on for now, especially since it is winter, very cold out. We do not want the uh, trucks to be off for too long. We'll be keeping this bucket truck on, and yes, we will have to kind of lift all the way up. And it looks like we pretty much do not even have to move it. But hopefully we do not get stuck in the snow. It is pretty deep here. But we'll definitely get started off kind of cutting up these trees right over here, giving us more room to work around. And like I was saying, guys, this is a big cleanup today. And they will be paying us a lot of money to do it, especially since uh, there's many tall trees and we do charge per tree. But as you guys, since we are now using the steel chainsaw to cut these up into pieces, I really do like the tree services of uh, series. It's been around since FS15, which is pretty exciting how we do transfer some of the series throughout different farming sim games. And hopefully we could continue that to the next farm sim. As you guys can see, we are just cutting these up into little pieces, which is nice. We'll pick these up and just throw them in the back of the dump bed, but I do also want to use a flat bed. So I think we'll kind of just switch off doing one or the other, because it's always nice to use the brand new trucks, and especially this one, which is very nice to done. A lot of uh, effort was put into it, quality-wise, everything like that. But as you guys can see, just picking these up by hand is sometimes even more efficient than uh, using the bobcat just because we cannot pretty much get them at the same time. But I hope you guys did have a great start to the year. It's going to be an epic year. And I did actually put out a setup video at the start at midnight on 2018, which was exciting. So uh, if you haven't already, I do recommend you go check out that because that's like the behind the scenes to all of these videos like I was saying earlier. As you guys can see, we are pretty much filling up this flatbed all the way, which is going to be nice. There's plenty more room for wood, and it looks like that one did fall in there, which is nice. And we do actually want to fill up both all the way before we head over there to the uh, dumping area, just because it will save us a lot of time. If you do have any cool video ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very excited for all of the videos, like I always say. And you guys have been overall awesome fans of the channel. And I'm very excited for all of the very cool videos coming. So as you guys can see, I will just kind of pick this one up. Kind of push it down just a little bit like that. So we got one tree removed, which is nice. I think we'll kind of start to tackle this tree. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. But I think all we have to do right now is kind of just uh, hop in the bucket truck. Not even really move it. And we'll just kind of cut the pieces right there. And it would be pretty nice to kind of use this. But sometimes we do not really even need to be up there so it looks like we'll have to get up there as you guys can see we are now here in the bucket truck we'll be coming over here and we do just want to kind of cut these into smaller pieces having them in smaller pieces will be beneficial for lifting them and they will not be damaging the ground especially with these very heavy ones coming crashing down we do not want to damage the grass underneath the snow but also being frozen temperatures I don't think we will pretty much do too much damage to which will also be nice but as you guys can see I mean we are pretty much cutting these up into pieces and then the ones on the roof will be a bit of a challenge for us As you guys can see, we cut a lot. I think we'll cut this last one. Then we'll be getting out of the bucket. We do actually have to get up in the air for that other tree. So I think we should go do that before we cut any more onto the roof. As you guys can see, we just got out of the bucket now. So we'll be kind of doing this. But take a look at that, guys. This is pretty cool how they've landed. I've never really seen anything like that. But up next, we'll be kind of coming over here. We'll be putting all of these into the dump trailer. These are just way too heavy to be lifting out in anywhere else. But I think what we will do is we'll kind of come over here. We'll put the straps on the dump bed and on the flatbed. 
To make it a little bit easier for us, we'll be hopping in the Dodge and we'll be backing the dump trailer up right over there and we will also be opening up the dump bed doors to make it a bit easier for us. It is some pretty heavy wood and we do want to be as efficient as possible. Well, like I was saying guys, we do actually have to get up in there in a few moments to kind of cut those or else it could come crashing down and damage anything. But it looks like I did activate the straps here on the trailer so we do have to deactivate those then reactivate them to kind of uh, go along with the load in here. But take a look at that, guys. I mean, we are, have already removed two of the trees, but there are plenty more trees to do here. And it might be a pretty long video. I do like to give you guys around 10 to 15 minute videos each day for the main video of the day, which is Farming Sim. And I do like featuring different games here on the channel for the second one. So stay tuned for those. Looks like there's a little piece of wood that we do want to cut off. That looks to be good. We'll be kind of picking this last one up. And we do actually get have to get on the roof throw all of those down but next up we'll be hopping into the Chevy bucket truck and we'll be coming over here driving through the snow pretty deep snow but overall I don't think we'll be getting stuck and take a look at that guys looks like it is hung up on this tree so the moment we kind of cut that tree more it will kind of uh, fall off and we want to cut this one just before it comes crashing down and damages a gravel driveway so we do have to get this into position now let's take a look we do have to uh, get it all into position we'll lift this up it looks like that's just about good there we'll readjust as good as we can and i do try to be as realistic as possible here in farm sim but it is a bit of a challenge as you guys can see we are now up here in the bucket and we'll start to cut down the tree as you guys can see we are now in the bucket so i think we'll kind of come over here and cut it right about here i think that this will be the perfect area for us looks like the tree is continuing it looks like the tree is continuing to move as we are cutting it, but we did cut it right there. So next up, we do have to lower it down just a little bit to cut it once more. As you guys can see, we are now in the bucket truck, so we do have to raise it down. That looks to be good just like there. We do have to back up and do it, and I wish that this would kind of extend a little bit more past the truck. That looks to be good. We'll hop back in here. As you guys can see, we are now over here, so I think we'll kind of reach over here and cut this. Now, since we go down the tree, it gets larger, we do want to make smaller uh, pieces just so they do not damage the ground. And like we're saying, guys, it's very cold out, and when you are working in cold conditions, you do want to make sure you do have the proper gear on to stay warm and to not freeze anything like that. But as you guys can see, I think that this will be our last cut before we kind of uh, start to clean up everyone on the ground. So I think that's pretty much it for the bucket truck. We'll make one last cut here. If you guys would like to see more Tree Services videos here on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy this series, and it's been around for a pretty long time. As you guys can see, we did do a lot of cutting here, so I think we'll hop out of the bucket truck. We are now lowering ourselves. As you guys can see, this is a very cool bucket truck. It looks like we just have to now lower the second arm just a little bit, and we do have to rotate it over. But overall, this is a very cool bucket truck that I do like to feature every now and then on the tree company, just because it is a very useful uh, truck and overall works pretty well. So well now we're hopping out of the bucket truck and I think we'll start to kind of cut up some of the branches here on these trees. Now some of these trees you guys can see there was a lot of dead bark which means that I mean these were pretty much ready to fall down and they just came crashing down. Take a look at how close this one came from the building. I mean that is not much distance and they lucked out that it did not come crashing down. So as you guys can see it looks like these are moving on the ground which I've never really seen them do before. But as you guys can see, we're just going to continue to clean up just a few more of these before we do call it a day. I did cut this up into some smaller pieces, but not small enough. Next up, we'll kind of come over here, cut all of these up, and I think we'll hop in that, and we'll be bringing it over here. But take a look at this, guys. I think we'll pretty much cut it right about here, and it should come crashing down, and hopefully it does not jam the chainsaw. Next up, we'll be hopping in the Bobcat T770, and we'll be lifting some of these pieces and getting this driveway opened up. They do need to get to work, and we do need to kind of continue, but we do not want to be rushed. So we'll just kind of come over here, use this to kind of lift this up and out of the way. And we do have to cut this into a few pieces uh, to make it a little bit more realistic for moving around. So take a look at that, guys. we got to kind of lift it up. We'll come over here, just cut it right about here. 
and pretty much we could whip these on into the dumb trailer if we did want to. But let me know down below in the comments, guys, should we upgrade and get us a log truck? I think that we really do need one since our company is growing quite a lot. But as you guys can see, we just used this bobcat. This will be the only time using it today since we do have a lot more cutting to do before we start to lift them all into the respective areas, trucks, everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's tree services video cleaning up from the blizzard last night. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more.